When I consider the relation x and going to y mod 3 over the positive integers, we want to show that this relation is an equivalence relation, and we want to partition this set into equivalence classes, representing each class with its, its, with its least element. Okay, so for part a, we're going to let x, y, and z be positive integers. And we're going to start with the three properties. So first one is uh, reflexive. So we want to show that x is congruent to x mod 3. Well, if x is congruent to x mod 3, that means 3 divides x minus x, or 3 divides 0. Obviously, that's true. So reflexive property is finished. The next one is symmetric. For symmetric, we want to start with x is congruent to y mod 3. And we want to show that that's the same thing as y is congruent to x mod 3. So we'll start off with this, and you want to end with that. OK, so if x is congruent to y mod 3, that means three is divisible or three divides x minus y. Or x minus y is a multiple of three. Because think about it. If x if if three is a factor of x minus y, then x minus y has to be a multiple of three. And here k is some integer. Okay. Now let's multiply both sides by negative we'll have y minus x equals negative 3k. And notice here, negative 3k is still an integer. right? Integer times an integer is an integer. And we can rewrite this as, let's see, 3 dividing y minus x. So you can think of um, the k, the k here is negative k, right? So think of 3 times negative k will give us y minus x. So if k is an integer, negative k is also an integer. And so y then is congruent to x mod 3. Okay, and that's what we wanted to show over here. All right, All right last property. This is a transitive. So if x is congruent to y mod 3 and y is congruent to z mod 3, we want to show that x is congruent to z mod 3. So starting with the first two here, so 1 and 2, we can say that 3 divides x minus y and 3 divides y minus z. Okay, now let's add x minus y plus y minus z is going to be, uh, see the y's cancel, so you get x minus z. And um, actually one step, I skipped a step. So here we should have said x minus y is 3r, y minus z is 3s, where r and s here are some integers. Okay. So they're multiples of 3. Now let's add these. x minus y plus y minus z is x minus z, which x minus y we said is 3r, y minus z is 3s, that's equal to x minus z. So x minus z is a multiple of a 3 okay, because here r plus s are integers so r plus s is an integer and that means that 3 divides x minus z therefore x is congruent to z mod 3 okay. so that's finished 
Now we want to go back to uh, part B. So part B set of partition the set into equivalence classes and then represent each class with its least element. So here we're looking at mod three, in other words, multiples of three. So uh, okay. so this is part B now. Okay, so these are the numbers, two, four, five, six, nine, 23, 24, 25, 31, 37. So the way we're going to break this up into equivalence classes is by the remainder when we divide it by three. So if the remainder, we'll say R is zero, R is one, or R is two. Okay. Now let's look at, so the nice thing is this is in order, that's good. So we'll start off with the first number, two. What, when I divide two by three, that's zero, remainder two. Okay, that's done. Four. Four divided by three is one, remainder one. Five. Five divided by three is one, remainder two. Six divided by three is two, remainder zero. Nine divided by three is three, remainder zero. 23 divided by three, let's see, that's seven, remainder two. 24 divided by three is eight, remainder zero. 25 divided by three is eight, remainder one. 31 divided by three is 10, remainder one. And the last one, 37 divided by three is 12, remainder one. Okay, so that's everything. So this is the number 23, let me just write it better. Okay. So now we have our equivalence classes. We wanna represent them with the least element. So the smallest number happens to be the first number. So this one will be six, this one will be four, and the last one is two. And that completes the problem.